Hey guys, Mike Moo here. So listen, I did a quick little video about this little Wuzu Glow Fan uh, sometime last year. That was before I returned it. Now, I, I just want to clarify a couple of things. I really liked this fan. And um, that video came across as like, uh, I didn't like it, but I really did. The only reasons why I didn't recommend it were detailed in that, uh, in that video, and primarily was two different things. One was the beeping. Um, there's no automatic beeping disabling feature on there. And that is pretty annoying when you're using it in the bedroom and you are very sensitive to sound. So uh, that was one reason. And then the other reason was that um, this head is articulating, but you gotta use it, you gotta articulate it using either the remote or the controls down here. The controls down here are pretty horrible for articulating it to get it to an exact position that you might want. Uh, using the remote's better, but this um, this is really annoying to do. Okay, so manually moving it was really annoying. Those were the only uh, two things that um, that really caused me to just be like, you know what? There are better options for the fan that I wanted to use or already have one that I just basically want to keep in place. Um, I still really like the fan, I just had a lot of them and actually when you compare the fans with the ones that are made and designed in Asia, they all have articulating heads. Just over here, um, automated articulating heads that move up, down, left and right automatically so it covers the whole room. Um, that is something that is very common over in Asian countries. So. That's kind of why it sounded kind of negative, but I actually really do like this fan. Uh, so I went and picked up another one, and I went to Costco, and you know these were going for $25, and that's an excellent deal for a fan even half as good as this. So this will reach a uh, good 82 feet, and you'll just you'll just feel the wind 82 feet away. So that's working out very well when you want something nice and small. This fan has three different motors. One that rotates it, left and right, and the other that does tilt. Now it allows you to go ahead and combine the two functions to do a, what appears to be a 180 degree circulation around uh, in front, well, maybe less than that. So the fan doesn't actually point downwards, it just points straight ahead and up and around, um, which is way more than what most fans can do. I was looking through the manual and under the troubleshooting section for the fan, it says problem, uh, product makes loud noise while oscillating, okay, right there. And it says the possible cause is during oscillation, motor sounds will increase. The remedy is this is normal. That, that's, that's normal. It's not super loud, but you can definitely hear it. And if you're in a quiet room on the lowest setting, you will hear that mechanical sound. So that's, you know, they're aware of it, but there's really no fix for it because that's just the way it is. So I'll give you an example of a US version that um, does the full on oscillation. This little guy, Soleus Air, has an oscillation where this whole thing just rotates. See this? It basically functions just the same thing. It's relatively quiet. Um, it has, it had a timer function, but you know, it does the job and also I can re remotely control it using one of my smart plugs. But one of the real reasons why I got it again was it was recently on sale over at Costco for $25 and that's shipped. That is a great deal. If you can get in on that now, I'd say get one, get several. These are really good. They're comparable to uh, the quality of the fans that I used to pay $80 for from Vornado. But at $25, you can buy three of them. Here's the thing, the Vornados have like a 25 year warranty. You know, the motors are really robust. Something like this, it's, it's too difficult to say exactly how long it'll last, but for $25, you definitely get your money's worth. Iris, the company that markets and sells these fans actually has a new version that's out and I actually haven't, uh, you know, I haven't played with those before. I just left a little comment on their page suggesting that, you know, maybe they should remove the beeping sound because that's pretty annoying. So that's, that's something that I hope that they will actually listen to and in the future uh, have that as an adjustable setting that you can just go ahead and turn it on and turn it off.
Sure, I have some other recommendations to improve upon the fan because I'm a big fan of fans uh, when it comes to cooling yourself down and others around you during the summer months. But people ask me what is my favorite desktop fan right now, and that's gotta be the Dyson AM06. That is quiet, it's efficient, doesn't have that wind buffeting uh, issue, and you know, the, the, the beeping, there's no beeping. Uh, there's no beeping that is annoying when you turn on the sleep timer. So that's fantastic, but that also costs quite a lot more. Okay, so I, I still think that if um, if you're looking for the best desktop fan, the Dyson AM06 is gonna be it, at least for me. But this is really good, $25. Now there's a chance, there, there's always a chance that by the time you look at this video, this fan's not gonna be in stock anymore. So periodically I'm gonna update the links down below in the description and um, or even on the screen and I'll link to whatever I can find at the time. So yeah, check those out. Well, that's it for this video. Please give it a like, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you in the next one.